Welcome to the T-60 series of videos. In this video, we will briefly go over choosing the saturation current of the inductor when using the TPS7H4001-SP. For a typical buck converter, the high side FET will initially source current to the output and then switch with the low side FET. This switching happens over and over, allowing the output to regulate. In the case that the output is shorted, the high side will continue to provide more and more current until the high side current limit of the TPS7H4001-SP is reached. While this will help protect the device from catastrophic failure, that doesn't necessarily protect the inductor. To understand how to protect the inductor, it's important to know what its saturation current is. Saturation current is usually defined by a decrease in inductance when compared to the current flowing through it. There are two types of saturation hard and soft saturation. Hard saturation has the inductance decrease rapidly after saturation, while soft saturation has the inductance decrease slower. To allow the output inductor protection during short circuit events, one can choose inductors that will have saturation currents equal or higher than the maximum high side current limit of the TPS7H4001-SP. This can be accomplished with one large inductor or two smaller inductors, each having a lower saturation current. Note that there will be some difference in the current sharing between the inductors, so you can't pick exactly half of the current limit. The difference in current sharing will be dominated by how well the inductances match between the inductors. In summary, to protect the inductor during short circuit events, the saturation current of the inductor should be greater than or equal to the high side current limit of the TPS7H4001-SP. Either one inductor with a saturation current of 32 amps can be used, or multiple inductors with lower saturation current value.